So how warm is that Halloween guys? Dude, don't even get me started. When I came in from guys, outside, then we came Guys, in. we got a package from Nana. Who said it's Halloween gifts? Always the rapscallion, that Grandma Gonzalez. You don't know her. Is. Well, anyways, uh, open that thing up. Say, who's it addressed to anyway? Ah, uh, there's a note. It says, for my three little Halloween soldiers. Weird that she says three, when I'm not related to either of you. It's a book. Demonic entities and other spooky things. Uh-oh, looks like old Grandma G wants us to summon her. <laughs> nice. Guys, seriously. All right. Now this book's got everything from Gary the Ghoul to Gunther the Ghost to Herbert the Headless Horseman. <laughs> well, no wonder they're all dead. Their names are so embarrassing. No book of evil spirits is worth a dime that doesn't mention the Pumpkin Conjurer. Jack Hollow the Pumpkin Conjurer? He's right here. He has the ability to conjure a pumpkin at any time or place. Jack Hollow the Pumpkin Conjurer will rock your face. I feel like the rhyming kind of takes away. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's kind of kind of kind of kind of well, what do we have to do if we want to summon it? Well, hold on a second. What if we want to summon something else? Like Skeletron. Half Skeleton, half Catron. What's a Catron? Uh, it says if you have to ask, you'll never know. Whoa, whoa. Maybe we should just stick with the pumpkin catcher. Fine by me. So how do we summon him, Danny? Uh, the first thing we have to do is spill the blood of an innocent into a goblet. Ah! 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 Well, that was morbid and unsettling. Yeah, I'm never doing that again. Well, hold on. We're already halfway there. We might as well finish it up and summon him. Good point. What do we have to do? It says here that someone has to uh, spin around and say his name three times. Care to do the honors, Matt? Why not? Jack Hollow. Jack Hollow. Jack Hollow, at your service. But they call me the PC because I'm politically correct. About conjuring pumpkins, that is. <laughs> Whoa! Dude, that that's is so cool! cool. Hey, babe, that's cool. Check this one out. So, what can I do for you boys? What do you mean? Well, you must have invited me for a reason, right? You know, maybe you were uh, trying to decorate the house, be festive, but you uh, didn't have any pumpkins, or maybe you were trying to build a pumpkin pie and forgot the most important ingredient. The possibilities are endless. It seems like they all boil down to a need for pumpkins. Still, well, we just kind of summoned you for fun. Well, if you guys ever need any pumpkins, don't be afraid to ask. I really owe you for busting me free back there. Busting you free? What do you mean? Oh, you mean you guys didn't know? A couple of guys trapped me in a pumpkin-proof vortex a while back. And I was there for about seven years. What'd they do that for? I did a thing. <laughs> but enough about me. What about you guys? Uh, what's with the costumes, am I right? Well, we were supposed to go trick-or-treating tonight. Check it out! Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, we were supposed hey, to go... Hey, Yeah? What's that behind your ear? There's something behind my ear. It's a pumpkin. Uh, all right. All right, that was good. So anyway... Go on. Are you done conjuring pumpkins? Yeah, yeah, you don't mind the attention. Okay, well we were supposed to go trick-or-treating and... Wait a minute, that's not a pumpkin. Yes it is. No, look, it's made of plastic. Foolish mortal, you underestimate my power. I never said I could only conjure the gourd form of a pumpkin. The mighty pumpkin manifests itself in many forms, and I, being the greatest pumpkin conjurer in the world, can conjure them all. Cooper, why are you standing in the corner? I don't know what you mean, Danny. To which corner are you referring? That corner right there! Why is everyone acting so weird? So anyway, you were saying about those costumes? Wait a minute, that's not Cooper. What, what do you mean? Cooper's been possessed by my arch nemesis, Nightblade. Why are you two nemeses? Well, Nightblade is responsible for carving all pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. What's wrong with that? You're just so tacky. And he's a serial killer. So, Jack, how did you know it was me? You're carrying your signature knife blade. Oh yeah. Well, pumpkin conjurer, prepare to be carved. <laughs> it's not working. His knife blade is too strong. We're doomed. No, we're not. I have a plan. What happened? I conjured a small pumpkin inside of his brain. He's out of commission now. We should probably move his body inside. Man, 
And Cooper is gonna be freaked out when he wakes up. Wake up? No, your friend's completely dead. What? He suffered a stroke from the pumpkin. I guess you could say he had a little too much pumpkin on the brain. Are you serious? That's in such poor taste! Come on, guys, live a little. Or in his case, die a little. Are you serious? How are you taking it so lightly that you just killed our friend? Yeah. Alright, well, guys, I should probably go. There's a couple of trick-or-treaters down the street that are dying to me. No, no, don't oh. kill any more people! What's wrong with that? They're just so tacky. And he's a serial killer. <laughs> Actually, the possibilities are endless. It seems like they all boil down for a need to pump. <laughs> for a need to pump. <laughs> Here, it was like pretty cool. Guys, guys, we got a package from Nana. Oh, am I still saying the line? Yeah. <laughs> it's a book. Demonic entities and other spooky things. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it's like Grandma G. Old Grandma G wants us to some, wants it to someone else from the dead. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It went in Zoom! Jack Hollow, Jack Hollow, Jack Hollow. Jack Hollow, Dog Conjurer. Oh, why do I feel like I'm at the wrong game?